Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hope you will do that and give us a quick thumbs up on this video. I want to share a quick word of hope today uh, for you, and it's going to come from Proverbs chapter 11 today. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 6. Verse 6 says this, The righteousness of the upright will deliver them. That is righteousness, right? Doing what is right. In the sight of God and people who choose to live like that, the righteousness of the upright, those who do that will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. The unfaithful will be caught by their lust. You know, we live in a time when what's right is called wrong and what's wrong is called right. In fact, a time where we just see a ramping up of people pushing, I mean, beyond limits of what, what historically and biblically and in every you know, morally, every way is, would be considered perverse, right? And that can lead to feeling, you know, just a sense of discouragement or a loss of hope. And I want to encourage you not to go down that road, right? A time now where words like honor and integrity are mocked, but don't lose hope. And I'm going to give you a reason for that. I think it's found here in God's word, right? The righteousness of the upright will deliver them. My question today is, which camp are you in? Which path are you on? There, there's two camps. I mean, at the end of the day in the world, there's, there's two camps, right? The kingdom of God and everybody else. Which one are you part of? Here we see the righteousness, the righteous, right? Those who are, are following the Lord, doing the right thing, and then the unfaithful, those, those who are not. The cool thing is this, is that when we are on find ourselves on the wrong path, which as a nation we are, I mean, even at the highest level, talk about unfaithfulness, right, corruption. At the highest level, the White House bringing cases that they know counter the Constitution, revealed right for the for the world to see both through litigation and then the Supreme Court ruling against them and the president admitting now oh, we knew that probably wouldn't work and then now even recently of course the the chief of staff uh, clearly part, uh, outlining their deceitful intentions in bringing litigation and promoting or, or rather in, in promoting uh, ways around laws at the highest level it can be discouraging. I mean, in a, on a national level, absolutely it is. It's, it's tragic to see such deception and corruption at the highest levels. But it's nothing new. I mean, that's nothing new. We're seeing it on full display in America now. But it's nothing new historically. And so I want to encourage us as individuals and even as certainly as families and even as communities, we have a choice. Which camp are we in? Are we going to follow God's plan and be in the camp of the righteous? Or are we going to be in the camp of the unfaithful? You know, the Bible teaches that God loves you and that he is for you. And he loves all of humanity, right? He does not will that any should perish. He doesn't will that any should be in this camp of the unfaithful, but that all should come to repentance, to follow him. God's plan for you and for me, and this can be achieved, by the way, even in the midst of the most uh, terrible of environments, and, and we're not in the most terrible of environments, we're in a bad environment right now, but not the most terrible, right? God's plan is for peace, an abundant life, right? But this problem called sin gets in the way, and, and, and it's easy to see it in others, and you know, for some, it's, it's on full display for the whole world to see, right? For others of us, it's not on display for the whole world. But we all have this issue with sin. And the solution is the same across humanity. Regardless of background, regardless of what anybody's done, or where they've come from, their, their family, their religious background, the solution is the same, and that is the cross of Jesus Christ. The place where God, the person in whom God came down and met humanity face to face, if you will, right, in the person of Jesus Christ. And the cross, the place where God himself and the person of Christ paid the price for all of our sin so that we can simply respond by turning to him and following him. 
I hope that's you today. I hope that describes a decision you've made today. And if not, let me encourage you do that. There's great hope, right? I don't know about, well, I do know about the world, right? The Bible talks about that. I don't know about our nation, but I do know about you and me as individuals. God loves you. He is for you. I hope you choose the path of the righteous today. God bless you. Thanks again for joining. Have a blessed day.